I'm going to now talk about AccuDraw in MicroStation. AccuDraw is not a standalone command in MicroStation. It is used in combination with other commands to quickly create or manipulate elements. I'm going to demonstrate how to use AccuDraw using place smart line command. My active level is set to 60, my active cover is set to 0, my active line style is set to 0, and my active line weight is set to 1. You can turn on AccuDraw by clicking on the AccuDraw toggle in the uh, primary toolbar. With AccuDraw active, you see the AccuDraw settings window showing up with X and Y coordinates displayed in there. I'm going to be uh, clicking the uh, base bar to show you how to switch from uh, a rectangular input to a polar input mode. I'm going to switch back to rectangular input by clicking on the uh, space bar one more time. I'm going to now place a line by entering a data point on the screen. AccuDraw allows me to draw along the x-axis, along the y-axis, or I can draw using a specified offset from the x and y-axis. I'm going to draw a line that is 100 foot going along the x-axis at an offset of 50 along the y-axis. That's what I'm going to do right now from my origin point. I'm going to specify a distance of 100 foot. To lock my distance, I'm going to hit the enter key on the keyboard. As soon as I hit the enter key, my x-axis is now locked. I'm going to move my cursor along the y-axis. AccuDraw already knows that my x-axis is locked. So it will display a rectangle around my uh, AccuDraw x-coordinate. I'm going to specify a y distance of a y offset of 50 feet. From my origin, I'm, I'm going to press the enter key on the uh, keyboard to complete drawing the line. I'm going to data point on the screen, right click on the screen to end the command. I'm going to now show you how to create a line using polar mode. AccuDraw command shows me that I'm in the rectangular input method. I'm going to click on the uh, space bar to change my input mode to polar coordinate system. I'm going to data point on the screen to specify the start point of my line. And I'm going to specify a distance of 200 foot and then hit the uh, enter key to lock the distance. I'm going to uh, input my bearing by typing in 1 followed by space bar 45 degrees 22 minutes 33 seconds and I'm going to press the enter key to finish placing my line. I'm going to data point on the screen to complete drawing my line. Right click on the screen to end the command. I'm going to now show you how to access AccuDraw shortcuts. I'm going to click on the AccuDraw window. I'm going to be uh, clicking on the question mark button on the keyboard to bring up the AccuDraw shortcuts. The next shortcut is uh, using the O button on the keyboard to set the origin in AccuDraw. With my smart line command still active, I'm going to uh, close my AccuDraw shortcuts command. I'm going to press the uh, O button on the keyboard twice. The first time it actually goes and picks up the, the last location where I've uh, clicked on the data point. The second time I click on the O button, it actually moves my origin to the uh, location of uh, my cursor. So I'm going to send a data point to MicroStation. I'm going to send a data point to MicroStation by left clicking on my mouse, setting the point as my origin. I'm going to be digitizing one more time to complete drawing the line. Right click on the screen to end the command. The next AccuDraw shortcut commands that I'm going to show you are the view rotation and top rotation. You can use the V button to enable view rotation in AccuDraw and T button on the keyboard to rotate top or top rotation. I'm going to close the AccuDraw shortcuts window. I already placed a line in my uh, DGN file that is at an angle. I'm going to rotate my view Using the rotate view command, I'm going to use two point rotation. I'm going to snap onto the begin point and end point of the line to rotate my view. With the view rotated, I'm going to be now placing a line at a distance of 50 foot from the begin point of the line that you see on my uh, screen, 50 foot along the y axis, having the same length as the line 
that I already placed in my DGN file. In order to do this, I'm going to set the focus back onto Akidra. I'm going to hover over the begin point of the line and I'm going to press the uh, O button on the keyboard. As you can see, my Akidra compass is uh, still pointing towards my uh, true north. In order to rotate, I'm going to be uh, pressing the V button on the keyboard set my north pointing to the, uh, to the views north. Now I'm going to move my cursor along the y-axis a distance of 50 feet. I'm going to type in 50 and press the enter key to lock the distance. I'm going to data point on the screen to lock the uh, begin point. I'm going to move my cursor along my x-axis and I'm going to hover over the end point of the line that is already in the drawing. I'm going to press the O button one more time to, s to move the origin. I'm going to move my cursor along the y-axis and specify a distance of 50 feet and hit the uh, enter key to complete drawing the line. Data point on the screen to accept the input. Right click on the screen to end the command. With the uh, second line drawn, I'm going to show you how to draw a line that is pointing towards the true north. So I'm going to uh, hover over the end point of my uh, previously drawn line. I'm going to use the O button on the keyboard. I'm going to type in T on the keyboard to rotate my uh, Akidra compass towards true north. I'm going to move a distance of 150 feet along the y-axis. I'm going to lock the distance data point on the screen to access the begin point. I'm going to be drawing this line which is a distance of 150 feet along the uh, x-axis. I'm going to press the enter key to lock the distance along the x-axis data point on the screen to accept the point right click on the screen to end the command. I'm going to now talk about uh, base rotation command in Akidra shortcuts. You can uh, turn it on by clicking the B button on the keyboard. I'm going to close the Akidra shortcuts and I'm going to draw a smart line in my rotated view by using the smart line command. I'm going to digitize the first point. I'm going to uh, data point on the screen to specify the second point to complete drawing my line. As you can see, my compass is uh, showing X and Y relative to the, uh, the direction of the line that I've created. Now, if I want to, to continue drawing the line using uh, true north, for example, I'm going to be uh, going and typing in T for top rotation. For some reason, I changed my mind. I don't want to be drawing the line uh, going true north, but I want to go back to my base rotation angle, which is relative to the last line that I've created. So I'm going to be uh, going back and typing in B on my keyboard to continue drawing my line relative to the last line that I've created. I'm going to click on the second point, right click on the screen to end the command. While using Acura, you might want to rotate your Acura compass relative to another element in the drawing. We're going to take a look at how you can quickly rotate your compass to match the rotation of another element in your uh, DGN file. The shortcut key to do that is RQ, which is what we're going to be uh, doing right now. I'm going to close out of the Acura shortcut window and I'm going to be activating Acura by clicking on the Acura command window and I'm going to be uh, using smart line command and going to be snapping to the uh, end point of the line that I already have in my DGN file. You can see my Acura is pointing to the true north of my rotated view. I'm going to be uh, rotating my Acura compass to match the rotation of the element that I've actually added to my DGN file. In order to do that, I'm going to type in RQ on the keyboard and press the enter key. I'm going to digitize at the end point of the line to match the rotation of the line. Now, I can draw a line perpendicular to the uh, begin point of the line and then uh, type in a distance of 150 to complete drawing my line, data point at the uh, screen, right click down the command. In some cases, you want to rotate your uh, Acura compass to match the rotation angle of an element. In order to rotate your Acura compass to match the rotation of an element, you can use the Acura shortcut key combination RE. 
I'm going to demonstrate that in the next part of this video. I'm going to close the Accuda shortcut window. I'm going to start out by using uh, the play smart line command and I'm going to send a data point to my station to specify the starting point. The compass rotation angle does not match the element here that I have that I want to match the rotation angle for. In order to do that, I'm going to use the uh, shortcut key combination RE and press the enter key. Snap onto the element and digitize on the screen to match the rotation angle. I'm going to specify a distance of 500 feet along the X axis to draw my line. Press the enter button to lock it, digitize on the screen, right click to end the command. I'm going to now show you how to uh, hold Accutra from running by using the uh, key combination HA on your keyboard. I'm going to close out of the Accutra shortcut uh, window using the smart line command. I'm going to digitize on the screen and I'm going to use uh, key combination HA to suspend Accutra for this one instance. I'm going to digitize on the screen one more time and out of the command and I'm going to click on the screen one more time to resume Accutra. While working with AccuDraw, you also have the option to suspend AccuSnap when running a command. I'm going to show you two methods of doing this. One is to toggle on the AccuSnap command and toggle off the AccuSnap command using uh, key combination HS and I'm going to suspend AccuSnap from running by using HU key combination while running AccuDraw. I'm going to close out of the AccuDraw shortcuts dialog box. I'm going to be uh, continuing using my play smart line command. I'm going to digitize on my screen. As you can see, my AccuSnap is toggled on. I'm going to uh, run the key combination HS to toggle off my AccuSnap. I can turn it back on by typing HS one more time and turn it back on. Using the Accutra key combination HU, we can suspend AccuSnap from running while using AccuDraw. Continuing to use the uh, play smart line command to demonstrate the key combination. I'm going to exit out of the AccuDraw shortcut window. I'm going to data point on the screen to specify the starting point for my line. When I hover over the endpoint of the line, you can see my AccuSnap wants to snap onto the endpoint of that line. I'm going to suspend running Accura for this one instance by typing in HU. When I hover over the end of the line, it's no longer going to be uh, snapping onto the endpoint. So I'm going to use my tentative snap middle mouse button to snap onto the endpoint of that line. Data point on the screen. Right click on the screen to end the command. In order to resume using the uh, Accu snap command, you got to get out of the command start a new command and then you can see AccuSnap is back and active. This completes the demonstration.